My name's Cleo Anderson, this is Wanderlux, and we're in St. Bart's. St. Barthélemy is a striking volcanic island fully encircled by shallow reef and part of the French West Indies. It's a small jewel in the Caribbean with an area of 25 square kilometres and a population of only 10,000 inhabitants. It was claimed in 1493 by Columbus, who named the island after his brother, Bartolomeo. St. Barthélemy once belonged to Sweden, but was returned to France in 1877. The capital and only town is Gustavia, named for Sweden's King Gustav III, which stands on a very picturesque and well-sheltered harbour. The French island of St. Barthélemy, also known as St. Barts, is really a mecca for celebrities and the jet set, as well as the super rich. The shopping, the big brands, the Pradas, Chopin, Dior, is literally a few minutes away. And right here you have the boats, the yachts and the ocean. And it's just a really nice juxtaposition of luxury and laid back chic. To show you the most decadent way to stay at this fabulous destination, I've partnered with St. Bart's Paradise. I sit down with manager Emily de Mullier to learn more about what they offer. I live in St. Bart since more than 15 years and I'm still totally in love with the island. Each morning when I get up I feel so lucky to be here and working in this kind of environment, it's really a pleasure every day. We have seven villas all around the island. Every villa has a wonderful view on the ocean. Some of the villas are very close from the other, so it's possible to rent it together. It's very important for us to give a personal identity to each villa. Clients can find the perfect villa according to their taste and their criteria. Villa Epicure is a striking modern villa in Marigot Bay. With an exquisite 18 meter infinity pool, the villa has seven suites, three dining areas, a fitness room, and two sprawling terraces. Villa Epicure is of a rare beauty. It has been built using the finest materials, and on arrival, I'm impressed by the immensity of the interior and exterior spaces and the attention to detail in all the design. We are about to experience one of the most ultra-luxurious villas on the island. This particular villa is called Villa Epicure, and we are in Marigot Bay. What do you notice first? I know, it's the view. It's beautiful, stunning. You've got the ocean, the colour is a deep cerulean blue. We have the gorgeous infinity pool. We have this really spacious deck and this for me is what we are doing. We're taking luxury to the next level. Now one of the things about this particular villa is the social aspect. I love this dining space where you essentially have room for 14 people. This is the main living space. As you can see, it's a really vast space. Again, we're talking about socializing and each little corner has its own little touches. I love the cushions, the dimensions of the room, and it just gives you that feeling of openness. This is the master suite and I love the fact that it's light and airy. I love the monochrome. The interior design in this particular villa is simply stunning. And each of the suites are designed in a slightly different way with slightly different colorways. So the entire feeling of the interior design is very cohesive, but each of the suites has its own personality. So we have this gorgeous standout staircase. It's made of marble. I love the stone detail. It brings everything 
into that sort of natural color palette. And it brings you down to this super chic, again, really girly landing. And did I tell you they have a cinema? So how amazing is that? Here we're on the lower level of the villa. Here is where we have four really gorgeously appointed suites. This part of the villa feels a little bit like a Zen garden. I love the flowers, the trees, the butterflies, the nature. You can hear the birds chirping. And this is where you would come maybe in the afternoon when you've had a little bit too much sun and you just want to relax and have a cocktail. The focal point of Villa Epicure's exterior is the stunning swimming pool, and I couldn't resist a dip. Like the rest of the villa, this gorgeous 18 meter salt water pool was made using the finest materials. The charcoal and blue tiles blend perfectly with stunning views of Marigot Bay. St. Bart Paradise is committed to providing the guests the most exclusive luxury experience. They offer a vast array of concierge services while staying at the villas. And tonight I'm looking forward to a private chef preparing a dinner party. So our chef for tonight is Morgan. Bonjour Morgan. Bonjour Cleo. So what do you have for us tonight? What are you cooking? Eh bien écoutez, pour aujourd'hui, on va commencer en apéritif avec une petite tartelette d'avocat, œuf de poisson. On va accompagner ça après avec un petit cornet de houmous au sésame. Je vais vous faire ensuite un petit ceviche de coco présenté dans une noix de coco. Pour l'entrée, on va partir sur un chou-fleur rôti aux épices piège. Après la deuxième entrée, une petite burrata servie sous crémeux petit pois. Pour le plat, on continuera derrière avec un petit maï maï. Et pour finir sur le deuxième plat, on va partir sur un bout en basse température, rosé à cœur. Pour le dessert, on va partir sur un millefeuille avec une crème diplomate à la vanille, caramel onctueux et framboise. Et le dernier dessert, on va partir sur une pavlova mais pas n'importe laquelle, il va avoir revisité exotique. C'est vraiment comme la poésie. It's like poetry. <laughs> An indulgent and tropical seven-course menu is served by the villa's private butler, who attends to every need and keeps our champagne glasses full. As the sun comes down on the island and I soak in the warm tropical breeze, this Caribbean jewel continues to glimmer into the night. Today is an exciting day. We're actually on the way to the airport and we're going to be going up in a helicopter to do a full tour of this exclusive island, St. Bart's. The glamorous island of St. Bart's is one of the top beach destinations in the world. Ringing the island are immaculate strips of sand and ethereal turquoise waters. As we round the tip of Pointe Milou, I spot the stunning Villa L perched high on the cliffs with its characteristic red roofs and friendly team members. This luxurious 10-room villa boasts four beautiful ensuite rooms, including three master suites. The swimming pool and outdoor dining area look out onto the crystal waters, and the state-of-the-art kitchen also has sprawling views. This particular villa is very intimate. I love that it has a bit of a Grishan feel about it. So we've got these stark white walls, we've got the blue of the ocean, and we've got these beautiful open spaces where you can sit and talk and socialize with friends and family. The entire villa feels almost like a small resort. So you have these different areas all around and this really is the focal point. It's 
the centre of the villa, it's just a fantastic place to be and it feels really warm and inviting. This particular villa really has sort of an edgy, fun, arty style to it. What's great about St Bart Paradise, again, is the attention to detail. There's small things dotted all around the villa that make it a little bit more fun and interesting. And if you're into fashion and art, I think this is probably the villa for you. St Bart's Paradise ensures that their guests have the most comfortable stays and at Villa L you have your own private massage room. All the villas feature the indulgent Linus St Bart toiletries, developed using the finest ingredients right here in the heart of the island. Villa L is a feast for the eyes. As the sun begins to set on another day in paradise, I head over to another incredible property for a sunset aperitif. Villa Mythique is spectacular, a sprawling Balinese-inspired retreat perched over Marigot Bay. With the palm trees swaying overhead and the sounds of the ocean in the distance, the private chef prepares delicious canapes on the spot and our butler's service is on point. What a privilege to spend an evening among friends, sipping champagne with this incredible villa as a backdrop. A true St. Bart's experience. Before bidding farewell to the island, there is one more surprise in store. A stay with St Bart's Paradise includes a private butler service dedicated to delivering exceptional experiences. Today I'm on Governor Beach in the south of the island for my very own private beach picnic. Now as you can probably tell, there's a little bit of wind, in fact it's super windy, but this is what I love about the Caribbean. It's, uh, as they say in French, sauvage, it's wild, it's nature. This is really beautiful and I'm so happy to be here. Governor Beach is unspoiled. The White Sand Cove is picture perfect and St Bart's is truly a dream come true. As I sip champagne and listen to the waves, I can't help but wonder where my luxury travels will take me on the next episode of Wanderlux with yours truly, Cleo Anderson. Mm -hmm.